Hello everybody, and welcome to Big Fields Farm. We're going to have a look around this map today. I hope everybody's well. We're going to have a little look around this map. It is for PC, Mac, PS4 and Xbox One. So it's all platforms. Let's nip down here. I'm going to take it I'm on this side of the road. Yep. Now this farm, it says, will push your biggest equipment. And how long will it take you to own map, uh, field three? It's a, a great map for multiplayer. It supports seasons has snow on the buildings and the fields are large enough to share with your friends so there we go as you can see there's some some hefty little fields here there's 29 fields from 0.390 hectares to 66.813 hectares and the fields can be back combined into eight large fields using a plow. So let's pull up. Oh, let's pull up over here near the shop. This is where you will spawn in. Right here, looking at this shop. So let's have a look at the map. So this is the map. Now I can tell you in farm manager mode you do not own any land, any buildings or any equipment. So this is new farmer mode. So none of these are here on the map in farm manager. And you do own, <coughs> excuse me, fields 12 for 149. Field 13 for 137.7 and then some smaller bits, 10,000 uh, for the where the chickens are, 10,000 for where the sheep is, 13,000 for the horse, 18,000 for the pigs and 24 for the land what the cows are on. If you want to have a look at the other prices, these smaller fields, 40, 35, 35, 41. 482, then we've got 167, 733, 739, so they're all about the same. The biggest field on the map is field 3, which is 4.276 million. That's 2.4, 2.5, 1 1.7. So we're getting up there. Quite expensive fields. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sell points. Eight if you count the BGA if you buy that. And no extra crop types. And there are contracts on the fields. So let's uh, go and have a look. Now you do have some silos over here. Let's just have a look. Other silo capacity. So you've got 400,000 in your train silos. Yes, there is a train that goes right round the edge of the map. Just a continuous loop. Oh, the biogas plant. 275,000 for that. So what have we got up here? The grain mill. That's a cell point. Sure it is. Yep. Silo West, Silo East, Train Station Mill is that one? Train Station Mill is one. Okay, so North and South are cell points and East and West are silos with a silo in the middle. You mean a total of 600,000 litres? Methinks. 
200,000, yeah, 600,000 litres of storage. Let's go and have a look at the equipment. So we start off with a lovely Valtra. I do like the Valtras. Um, <clears throat> 201 HP. We've got a smaller Fent, the 511, 115 HP. We've got, the, we've got two of them, sorry. Then we've got the new Holland Harvester, the TX32, which has a bin capacity of 5,600. Forget that, that's mine. You don't, you don't get that. Uh, then we have a trailer, an A-frame trailer, just over 10,000. Capacity, a 4-metre header, a 3-metre cultivator, a D30 cedar, 3 metres. We have a 24-metre sprayer. We have a weeder, 9 metres, a Joskin water tanker. The front loader arm and a set of forks, a couple of weights, and then we get into the animal pen. So we have a large cow pasture 200, large pig pasture enclosure 300, sheep 250, and 16 horses, and a chicken coop for 400. The grain silo holds 200,000 of your regular crops, not your root crops couple of easy sheds, large, and the farmhouse. So then people, what we'll do, we'll have a little fly around the map, and uh, then we'll go and have a closer look at the farm.
Now before we go any further, I want to just check something. Let's um, reset this vehicle. There we go, it's at the shop. So this is where <coughs> your vehicles will spawn. And this is the reset point. Now, the farm is just around the corner here. Let's just park up right here and block this. Right, ladies and gents, we are here at the farm. There are four water points on the map. And if you've noticed, there's, there's no rivers or anything like that. So there's four water stations, and you're looking for these green hoses. So that is a water point. Uh, <clears throat> they're at the shop, the animal dealer. Oh, there's two at the shop. One at the animal dealer and one at the farm. So that'll be the one at the farm. And we come round here. This is your house with the sleep trigger. Ooh. Easy tiger. Let me just put that back on. There we go. Sleep trigger. Now I've noticed there's no lights in here. So this is going to get pretty dark at night. Everything's pretty much on the road. Now it does say. Um, oh do 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 do. But uh, it is pretty flat around the sides of these paved roads. So it's good for placeables. Now your animal pens are here at the back. So we've got the chickens down at the far end. Sheep here. Horses here. And as you can see I've got the animal pen extension mod on. So you can have a pipeline installed if you wish. On the pens. Uh, there's the pig area. And just across the road are the cows. Fantastic. Everything's all kind of uh, concise is the word. Is it concise or condensed? I don't know. Then you have your cell points here. What's this with all raised stuff on? On FS19, what's this raised malarkey all about? So, in the centre, as I've said, you've got your two cell points. One at the top there, your grain mill and the train station mill at the bottom and then everything else is here in the middle so your barn your biogas you're gonna have to buy that before it comes up a uh, vegetable warehouse a bakery a spinnery ee, ee, and the sawmill so let's have a little quick look around here i think this is the bakery the sawmill is here there's a lady from the sawmill office. Hello, lady from the sawmill office. Here's where you sell your logs. Here's where you do your wood chips. This little silo... This little silo over here is for lime. And here is your fuel station. So all pretty much together. And that, ladies and gents, as I use the crossing, like a proper person, realism is key. That's basically the map, ladies and gents. So this might tickle your pickle. It may not. But it's on Mod Hub, and I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to take a look at it. So until next time everybody, stay safe, hit the like button if you would like to, that would, that would mean a lot, thank you very much, and uh, stay safe, stay safe out there, until next time everybody, bye bye.